Anybody here hasn't read Power Versus Force? <laughs> get his number, get his number. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, so a, a rapid review then. We, we try to go over that which we know, uh, which I have shared already, because no matter how many times you go over it, you get something new, just like I did this morning. And um, so we want to cover what we have presented before, because from the academic viewpoint, you know, as a professor, it's a, so from an academic viewpoint, we do want to make sure that the material is covered. A lot of the material in, it, in and of itself is transformative. Just to have heard that and go, oh, wow, <laughs> you're somewhat different than you were before you heard it, you know. So we want to share it for didactic uh, responsibility to the intellect. Uh, because I respect the intellect, it has certainly served mankind, certainly in the form of science. If it wasn't for the intellect, most of us probably wouldn't be here. We would have died early, early on of typhoid, diphtheria, syphilis, tuberculosis, polio, all the things. When I started out in medicine, when I was the head of the infectious disease hospital, people died right and left of all those things, typhoid and diphtheria and whooping cough and scarlet fever and meningitis. And, and now, due to science and logic and reason, we're all here. <laughs> Uh, so therefore, it's only a fool that belittles the intellect. 